Oh my God, I needed this so bad. Cafeína. Welcome to a new episode with Pasta Queen and Pasta Girl. Today, we're making homemade fresh gnocchi. Made with potatoes. These are delicious and super easy to make. Let's do it. Ingredients. Okay, so for the ingredients, we have 500 grams of russet potatoes that have been boiled in salted water and 300 grams of flour. All-purpose flour is fine, but we're using flour zero zero from Italy. One egg and a pinch of salt. It's easy. Okay. Dai, yeah. We are following Auntie Pina's recipe to the letter. The letter. <laughs> the letter. The letter. <laughs> okay, good. So we're gonna put a, a bit of flour down. Don't use it all. The reason being is this. Some potatoes will be drier than others based on their age. If they're a few days older, they're drier. If they're new and fresh, they have more water content. So you have to really judge the flour based on that. We're starting with 300 grams and we add or keep away as needed. Okay, guys. So now we're gonna smash the potatoes. Ago loves to do this, so let me help you. Now we're gonna add the potatoes in the potato scruncher, guys. Now we scrunch them and you see this waterfall falling in, okay? It's important to use potatoes that are a few days older so that you retain a very soft consistency of the gnocchi. If you add too much flour because you're trying to overcompensate because the potato is full of water, then the flour is gonna make the gnocchi a little bit harder. Okay, now let's mix the potatoes with the flour. We're gonna make a volcano shape. I like volcanoes, I don't know if you've noticed, okay? You know, I do come from, you know, the volcanoes land. Now we break one egg in the volcano. Oh yes, baby. And add a generous amount of pinch of salt. You know that I like saying it this way, right? Okay, where is my fork? Who took the fork? When Ago is close to me, mm. I feel that the food comes out much better. So if you have someone that is good looking or, you know, really nice around your house, keep them around, you know, use them in your cooking and stuff because the whole food is gonna get so much more flavor. Now we start, we put everything in and we mix the egg inside. You can use a fork. You can use your hands. I'm gonna start with the fork. And now we're gonna go to our hands. Can you take that? <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. There you go, we're gonna mix it. Well, you don't wanna mix it too much. No. Oh, morbidissimo. I don't know what the name of it is in English. It's a spatula, I believe. You know, I call them the spatula of love. That's what I like to call it. But what it does, it really helps you make your pasta when you're making the fresh pasta. Just get the crumbs and the little things. Sometimes you can even use it to break apart the dough and mix it in. Um, but yeah, the spatula of love is really what I like to call this instrument. It's very important to not over knead the gnocchi dough. Uh, it makes the whole dough harder. So just, just need enough so that it's dry, but not too dry, and soft, but not sticky. So I just added a sprinkle of flour. Did you see that? I didn't need to use all that much flour because my russet potatoes were a little bit older. So a few more days. And that meant the water content of the potatoes was lower. So we use a little bit less flour than what it usually needed, which is totally fine. Just wanted to give you that tip so that you at home can also do it perfect. But yeah, you want the gnocchi dough, the perfect consistency, and I think we're pretty much there. Okay, so we're gonna flour our pasta board. So, and what we do is we cut these little strips 
I call them the Italian tails. We're gonna make some Italian tails. Look at this. Now you wanna make them long and about three quarters of an inch thick. As long as you like, but obviously not too long because you're gonna then cut them down with your spatula or a knife. So in Italy, we have a tradition. Every Thursday, we eat gnocchi. Reason being, gnocchi is mostly had with ragu sauce, which has meat sauce based. And on Friday, we are off of meat. So Thursday, you have your last full plate of meat, and then Friday, you go on to fish. Okay, good. So now we cut the gnocchi about an inch. Go. You got your little gnocchetti. Okay, you see I'm cutting them into little pillows of love. They're about one inch long and three quarters of an inch wide. Mix them in with some flour, extra flour on the pasta board so they don't get sticky. Now you've got a couple of options here. So if you have a gnocchi board, we're gonna be using it. All you do is gently push on it and they roll off, leaving these cute little rigs in it. If you don't have a gnocchi board, which by the way is very easy to find even on Amazon, you can use a fork and I'm gonna show you right now. So you take a fork, the rigs are gonna be a little bit different. They're not gonna be as pretty and as even, but you just push on the fork and you get the indentation of the fork on it. Just to give them a little shape and also I'm gonna show you the back of it. It's got a little bit of an opening at the back, you see? So this is how they come out if you wanna use a fork. Giving it a little bit of shape and texture helps hold the sauce better. So I like having it like that. However, I've seen gnocchi simply smooth. We have this in Rome a lot with the ragu sauce. They taste amazing, but a little bit of shape is cute and it absorbs the sauce. So do it and tell me. So all you do is just roll them over the grooves and let them slide off, just like this. All right, let's sprinkle some flour in a tray. And now we put all the gnocchi on it. Let them sit there so they don't get sticky until your sauce is ready. Flour them well and then mix them around so they go everywhere. They get nice and dry so they don't stick to it. To it to the, they don't stick to each other. And that's how you make homemade fresh gnocchi so fast. Now the most popular sauces with these are ragu sauce, which is a meat tomato sauce, or butter and sage, pomodoro basilico, which is simply basil and tomatoes. Sorrentina. Or sorrentina with the melting mozzarella. By the way, I've got an amazing TikTok video on that. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go and cook this. We love you. Subscribe and follow us on TikTok. Mwah. See you next time. Ciao. Woo.